We talk about the why in the book. Sorry. Yeah. Did you start? Yes. Oh no, I thought you asked me a question, so we no. took <laughs> I asked the question because so we get we I think you should leave this in. Cool. Sorry. I ask a question because we're getting to I hate talking to cameras because they're not people. So I talk to you. Cool. Right? Uh, no, but the why is important, right? Because people talk about mission and people by what you do less than by why you do it. And I think that's very true. Um, we talk about the why at work, we talk about the why during OKRs with clients, with teams. In the book, we talk about the why in a, in a big way. And I've got a story which I think um, many people don't know. The story of Lamborghini. You know Lamborghini for what? What's Lamborghini? Oh, cars. cars. Lamborghini is tractors. Oh, it's tractors. So. Lamborghini uh, was an industrial man in the uh, northern region of Italy, Emilia Romagna, who was building tractors. And uh, he, the, the business was doing well, and as a treat, he bought himself uh, not one, but two Ferraris at the time. And uh, they used to meet up as friends uh, several times a week, actually two or three times a week. And uh, they would race uh, from one town to the other. I can't remember the towns. And uh, whoever got there last would pay the coffee for everybody else. And uh, consistently, the clutch of this Ferrari kept breaking. And uh, it wasn't really handling the, 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 the race, so to speak, very well. So uh, Ferruccio Lamborghini, who was not only a businessman, but also a navid mechanic, uh, got this car once in the workshop and they designed a clutch for this car that was the same clutch used by tractors, which was the dry clutch, much like Ducati. And from that moment on, it never broke. Right, so what Lamborghini did was to take the idea to Enzo Ferrari, uh, Maranello, and he went there basically uh, peer to peer, saying, you know, listen, I think I found the solution for this clutch that breaks. And Enzo Maranello took that very, very badly. Uh, it basically kicked Ferruccio Lamborghini outside the office and you can't drive Ferraris, keep driving your tractors and it really snubbed him big time. And uh, the story is told by uh, his son, Ferruccio's son. And uh, Ferruccio, the dad was at the table that night and he was just staring at the food, really angry. Why did Enzo have to treat me that way? I was doing him a favor, I wasn't asking for money, I was just solving a problem. Why did he have to treat me that way? Do you know what? Screw this, I'm going to build a car that is better than Ferrari. That's what he did. And his wife at the table said, oh, are you crazy? It's going to cost us a lot of money. Uh, why? Maybe you just had a bad day, leave it. And he was so determined for that one event that uh, they've taken, they used to spend a million pound in liras, one miliardo, uh, in advertising for the tractor business. He's taken all of that out and he's built the car instead and he said, if this is successful, the publicity that we'll get will pay for all the advertising that we're doing on TV. Lo and behold, they started building cars. He partnered with a designer and Lamborghini was born that way. And my point with this is that the why is so, so important. This industrial tractor maker had no intention of building cars. He only wanted to drive them. But because Enzo Ferrari pissed him off so damn badly, he went on with that big why that came from a place of frustration or whatever, and he built Ferrari's number one competitor. So you figure it, right? Uh, so important to have a real reason to do what we do. Now, we don't really have to build new clutches or new cars to have a drive that drives us, to have a why that drives us, but we have to have a why. We need to do things for reasons that are beyond money, beyond materialistic success, and beyond just because we have to do it. We need to build businesses and missions because we have a why that means something deeper to us. So I invite to everybody, uh, everybody watching this, is to have a strong reason, a good big why to do what you're doing. Because if you believe in it, your customers are likely to believe in it too.